Welcome back everybody. Thank you for watching another video. Today we're having a look at another awesome knife by Kaiser. This is the T1. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you want to purchase this knife and help support the channel, make sure you check out the link in the description below. We earn a small commission from your purchase. Thank you for your support. Let's begin with the size reference, just so you get a better idea for what the T1 might feel like in your hands. Paying special attention to the thickness of the handle here and the width of the permanent marker there. Let's turn it sideways. Alright, let's open it up. Ooh, that's a quick opener. Alright, there it is. Open. And sideways. All right, let's take an actual measurement here. Closed up, we have just about four and a half inches long with the blade closed. And then from the tip of the blade, right to the ending of the handle, just about seven and a half inches. Let me get you a good idea for how thick this knife is around the edges here. So here is a pair of chopsticks. This is the thicker side, this is the thinner side. And I think it's probably the same thickness as a pair of chopsticks. All right, here comes your weight reference. T1 coming in at just about 3.6 ounces. And that's almost as much as a full deck of cards. All right, let's have a look at the opening mechanism. We have dual thumb studs. Riding on a bearing pivot. And it is lightning quick. Lightning, lightning quick. Do that one more time. Just slings open. So smooth and so quick. This is a liner lock. You can see that here. This lever just kicks out to the side when you open the blade. And then to close it, you just move it on the side. Easily closable with one hand. Let's have a look at the spine of the knife. We have no jumping on the thumb ramp area. It's smooth all the way down here to the tip. And that's pretty thick. That looks like it's about, what do you guys think, two quarters thick? Yeah, just about two quarters thick. The T1 has a drop point blade shape with a high and tight shoulder right in here. You can see that crease. This is pretty much a flat grind here. There's no curvature on the blade flats here. So it's going to be very easy to maintain and sharpen. You're going to have good strength behind this edge because of all the mass here. And it should be a pretty decent cutter. Let's check that out. Oh, well done. Let's try a few more cuts in there. That was so smooth. Yeah, no resistance. That is a smooth, sharp cut. Let's have a look at this beautiful black finish. Kaiser logo here. All right, we have a nice sharpening choil that's going to allow you to sharpen the blade from the tip all the way down to the base of the blade. And if you look right in here, we can see the steel type. It's 154 cm. Now, if you haven't heard of 154 CM, it's been around since the 1970s. It's considered a mid-grade steel. It's made by Crucible Steels, and if you don't know who that company is, they've been around for a long time. They are pumping out some of the most high-tech powdered steels right now, so it is a crazy reputable company. You got about 15% chromium in here, so you're going to get good corrosion resistance, 4% molybdenum. You're going to have a very easy-to-maintain blade, easy to sharpen, and you should have really good edge retention. Let's have a look at these beautiful black micarta handles. Check out the grain structure on that. You know, micarta is great. It's great in all weather conditions. When your hands are sweaty or if the knife gets wet, it feels like cloth. It feels really nice in the hand. There's a look at the beveling. Matching black hardware, you got torque screws so you can take this apart and service it, lubricate it and clean it. Let's have a look at the grip. Pretty basic. Just a small curvature in here. Fits really nicely in the hand. Yeah, I don't notice any hot spots in that grip. Very comfortable to hold on to. Let's flip it over and have a closer look at the liner lock here. Again, to close this, all you're going to do is move this lever on the side. Bump it with your pointer finger. Very easy to operate with one hand. Let's have a closer look in here at the liner. And you can see from this side that it is skeletonized, set down there in the micarta, nicely done. You can see right in here. Matching backspacer. Black matches the contouring of the knife. Integrated into that backspacer. Here is a look at the pocket clip. Also matching black. 
it is not reversible to the other side and it is tip up carry only let's have a look at what the t1 is going to look like when you stuff it in your pocket almost completely disappears that is a tiny pocket clip like that barely noticeable once again guys this has been the t1 by kaiser knives if you're looking for a new everyday carry knife that cuts clean coming out of the box has a buttery smooth opening pivot and has awesome micarta handles this might be the new knife for you well all right guys this is the ending of the video remember if you want to purchase this knife make sure you check out the link in the description below thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next video <laughs>